Go. Tuesday, November 22nd, 2022. It's 11 22 Which is my favorite uh, Hulu show about not murdering the president. 11 22 What happened? Nothing. No, nothing happened. I wonder if there's... I bet there's like a... Like a like a real cheap pop of like a political joke in there between 11 63 and... January 6th. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know what it would be, but... They switch places. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he's, he goes to the diner, and he's got to go back to January 6th. Six. And he stops the insurrection. Yeah. But then... Well, what's the bad thing that happens if he saves... if Because that's... that's spo- spoiler alert for fucking 11 He like he's, He stops the assassination, and it makes the world go fucking crazy. We right. lose to the commies. Yeah, this is a bad premise, because it's like, what would happen? Yeah. Maybe, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Well, we you know what? We'll leave that to the audience to figure out yeah. while we get ready for the green room here. Thank you, everybody, for joining us here on the Great Night Program. Coming up, we got some News 6 coming at you. Very, very hot action on the News 6, uh... Scene. Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Yeah, <laughs> let's give these guys a call and uh, see if they are uh, uh, interested. Ah, oh, Skype froze on me again. Skype keeps freezing. They updated Skype and now it keeps freezing. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna do some new sticks. We're gonna uh, a blind taste test. Well, I don't think it's bl- it, it may not be blind, but um, it is a, it is a taste test. Uh, yeah, and and so that's coming up. Wow, Skype really just oh. There you go. Okay. Well, now I know that it is binging over there. Uh, anyway, thank you everybody for joining us once again to the Great Night Green Room pre-show thing. Oh no, I forgot to turn the camera on, but I'll do that when I I'll just run in there and do that. But it's totally a okay. Don't worry about it. Green Room, they okay. We're all good here. Ossifer. Ossifer. Where did my thing go? Oh no, where did my thing go? You have a lot of you got got a lot, of, lot of video. I do have a lot of video. Where'd the thing go? Oh no. I guess this will work. Oop. Okay, yeah, I forgot to turn that thing. There. Well, uh, uh let's take a listen to the green room. Green room, can you hear me? Uh, hey. Uh, uh, hey. Yes, we're at the uh, top of the world on the helicopter right now. <laughs> at the helicopter. And you can't prove otherwise because there's no camera. <laughs> uh, very very, very good green room. Very good. We'll we'll fix that camera in a minute. <laughs> Uh, I, uh, uh, oh, so you don't mean the actual camera? I don't need to turn on any actual camera. No, it's a. I need to mess around with the computer and hit. I need okay. to hit a button on the right. computer. I mean, you want to hit the cool. button? I can uh, show you. It's. Uh, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. See this little icon here, the kind of ninja sort of looking icon. Yeah, uh, yeah. Just click that on the taskbar for me. Okay, got it. Look yeah. at that tech support. I'm doing it. And then on the bottom right of that window, you'll see Start Virtual Camera. Oh, oh, oh. Bottom right hand corner. Uh, wait, yeah. bottom. Let, me, let me skip. Let me remind me later to upgrade. Bottom, it. bottom oh, yeah. right hand corner. Right. Yep, 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 yep. You know what? We don't like to upgrade. Camera. I don't guys, like to update. You guys sound like there we go. every there we go. Right there, right there. Middle, 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 middle. Support. Oh, start virtual go. camera. There there it is. Hey! I did it. Hey! All right, have a great room. We did it. We did it. Uh, We're living, uh, baby. Living the dream. Exciting. Exciting. So, we were just talking about how grateful we were we were actually having kind of a private moment where we were thinking about what we're thankful for yeah and i was saying uh i'm i'm thankful that uh uh with uh, that that everyone is buying stuff at scamstuff.com yeah and justin was saying he's thankful that politics are now over and his job is so much easier now because uh there's not like wild things coming no, at you. No, everything's calmed down. Everything's calmed down. I think I'm just an asshole. <laughs> I think that's just, just, that's just what it is. I just, I'm just getting older and I'm just getting meaner and I'm just going to be a mean old asshole. Like, this is the nicest I'll ever be uh, right now. I'm only going to become more embittered and more angry and more frustrated. Oh I'm just going to be a bigger dickhead okay, from let, here let's on uh, out. Let's yeah. let, uh, tell you what, tell you what, tell you what. Uh, Let's wind the time travel machine forward 10 yeah. years. Yeah. How do you sound then? Fuck you. 
Okay. All right. Yeah. That's, that's an awful lot like what you are right now. No. Wait, uh, sorry. Meaner. Whatever wait. that. I can't. I don't, I don't know how to be that mean yet. Okay. Well, yeah. let's, let's go backwards 10 years. Yeah. So we, I can do an impression. Wind it back. Give, give it an impression of how were you 10 years ago? Uh, hi, friend. Uh, would you like me to uh, uh, help you out? <laughs> Is that? Oh, you know what? Now I want to go back twenty years. What yeah. did you sound like? Uh, hi, Andrew Maine. Would you like me to work for free? <laughs> okay. Uh, go back uh, thirty years. Hi, mom. Can I clean my room? <laughs> all right. All right. Now, now we'll go back for uh, uh, twenty years. So we're back to ten years ago. And and uh, now let me go five years in. Uh, so five years ago. Uh, now we're getting complicated. This is yeah. a lot of math. Wait, uh, uh, five years ago? Five years ago. Fuck, where was I five years ago? Uh, uh, I'll give you a hint. Um, uh, uh, ah, geez. I hope I don't get any meaner. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm right, just right. I'm you an appropriate I'm, amount I'm, of mean I'm, 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 I'm Now the, when I'm mean I'm People think it's a joke Because I'm trying to joke Now my, my fucking simmering rage Is just spilling over All Like right. so much let's, fucking acid let, And let, burning fucking bystanders Let's take it 20, 30 years into the future 30 years into the future uh, uh, Gravestone <laughs> Okay Yeah 29 years into the future. Uh, uh, a slightly less decrepit gravestone. <laughs> 20, 20, hey, hey, hey. Gravestone with dog piss on it. Okay. One more time. Uh, uh, 20, uh, 27. Dog walks by my gravestone. <laughs> okay, 26. <laughs> <laughs> I kind of want to follow the rest yeah. of this. Yeah, no, I'm going to oh. die soon. Oh. Hey, man. Uh, you, <laughs> uh, you know what's good is, what? is that Weird Al movie that I won't tell you about. No, you should spoil it. No. Say the end. Say the end. No. What happens at the end of the Weird Al movie? Look, I, 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 there's a you word, can't really spoil it. There's one word that happens at the end. Say it. And I won't say the say end it. word. No, say it. No, I won't say the end word. No, you should say what happens at the end of the no, movie. No, that's it. Uh, look, you we, said we, it on Cord Killers. No, well, I mean, that show, we, we're allowed to say the end word. Yeah. But we're not allowed to say the end word here. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like people dude, want it. Dude, do you want you, I don't know. Do you guys want to tell me? <laughs> uh, you guys want to hear the N word? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> the N Where is, is the movie anyway? Uh, I don't even know where the movie is. Well, this is the thing. It's, it's like uh, it's a smart de decision for Roku to put it on their own channel. Uh, it was supposed to have a theatrical release, but instead it went to uh, uh, Roku only. Which means you either have to go to the Roku Channel website and you have to sit through ads no matter what. There, there is no way to experience the whole unbroken movie. You can't buy it? Nope. Uh, and Why? So, uh, well, because what they want is for everyone to remember that device that they already all, uh, have is also a channel. In an app? Uh, yeah. Is it an app on Apple TV? I don't think so. Uh, Bryce can confirm or deny that. Uh, I think it is. I'll have to look, but I think it is. Someone in my chat said it was an app on Apple TV. Yeah, I, I, I didn't have a great experience trying to make it work on my TCL TV or whatever. But, uh, okay, seriously, the spoiler for the end of the movie is going yeah. to happen. Um, they just skip ahead a few minutes. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, oh, we're hearing your typing, Bryce. I don't know if that's coming out on the stream. Okay. But the uh, 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 Madonna has taken over Pablo Escobar's drug cartel. Okay. And uh, <laughs> and Weird Al Yankovic is accepting the award for not the most talented, but definitely arguably the most famous accordion player within a specific subgenre of music. Okay. And he's giving a speech and he's announcing that he uh, that he is happy and fulfilled for the first time in his life. And then he is assassinated, and it by says, Madonna. Uh, no, by one of Madonna's henchmen. Gotcha. And and it says uh, uh, he died in 1985. Uh, Madonna uh, Chicote or whatever her name is uh, is still at large. <laughs> and then and then there's a, a little end tag where they zoom in on the gravestone and. Weird Al's hands come out. Right. That's like the end. Yeah, the end it's a tag. zombie. Yeah, no, it's so great. It's so great. Okay, spoilers over. Yeah.
That and the fact it was good. Is that a spoiler to say it's good? I've heard really good things about it. It's very, very, very I've funny. Heard, yeah, I've heard it's uh, uh, it's a parody. Uh, well, because Weird Al's the parody man, uh, and, and so it, his biopic was a parody I, of a biopic. I right? felt dumb uh, halfway through the movie when I figured that out <laughs> yeah. because they do a good enough job of. Keeping it kind of on rails. Right, exactly. Like and then Dr. It, and Demento's then goes, there, and right. MTV is there. And and then it goes full UHF off the rails. Yeah. Like, uh, it, like where, where you're like, this seems like a shot-for-shot shot remake of the Predator moment. <laughs> you know, this seems like a shot-for-shot. Shot of, And you're like, oh, that's right. This is, he's doing UHF. This is, it's delightful. It's wonderful. It's really, really good. Uh, I'm excited to see it. Not excited enough to have watched it by now, but uh, uh, certainly excited to see it. I know Katie Dirks really liked it, and, and she was she was blowing up a group chat saying everybody. Uh, like I, I can tell you more about this. it if you want to hear. Let's just from the beginning opening scene. Uh, well, the opening what happened? scene. Let's spoil. We're spoiling the entire movie. <laughs> okay, okay. Right, I want fine. everybody. I'm here for it. Uh, yeah. His, his dad works at the factory. Yeah. Uh, and one day, Weird Al is alone. And somebody rings the doorbell, and it's a traveling salesman mm -hmm. who sells an accordion. Got you. And uh, his dad, oh, he didn't like it. He found out that his son was doing accordion, and he freaks out, and he <laughs> beats the shit out of <laughs> the uh, the traveling salesman uh -oh. and says, never, never, this is the devil's squeeze box. <laughs> you should never do it. Weird Al gets a little bit older, goes to a party, Oof, finds out it's a polka party. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and he's been secretly uh, practicing, practicing the, the accordion, accordion, right? Uh, and so from there, he ends up uh, uh, doing parody music, and everyone praises the fact that he uh, has the talent of changing the words to other people's songs, which mm. they make sure to say specifically. And, uh, <laughs> and then, uh, anyway, uh, uh, Madonna shows up, evil Madonna, because she wants to get the Yankovic bump, because... Every song he parodies seems to become a hit. Gotcha. So she wants him to parody her next her song. Her song, yeah. yeah. But, uh, but he instead has a transformation and realizes that what he wants to do is original music. So he writes an original song called Eat It. And he goes in and he throws the tape to the guy. The guy plays it. Uh, the guy being Weird Al Yankovic playing one of the guys at the record label. And, uh, uh, and he's like, you're saying this is an original song. Yes, it's original to me. You wrote this. I wrote this. And nobody, it's not a parody. It's not a parody. <laughs> and uh, uh, it becomes the most popular song in the world. And he's very upset when a young upstart named Michael Jackson does a parody. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Parodies eat it. It's great. It's a great movie. Then what happens? Uh, uh, oh, uh, his number one fan turns out to be Pablo Escobar. They go down. And uh, there's a shootout. He yeah. he kills Pablo Escobar <laughs> because this is again yeah, this is a genuinely exactly. yeah, authentic yeah, yeah, real yeah. thing that happened. And uh, Madonna realizes, oh my God, we could have true power now. We could take over Pablo Escobar's power because they're dating. Uh, yes, yes. Yeah, she's seducing him. Uh, and then uh, and then uh, uh, she does, and uh, he reconciles with his dad and accepts an award, and then gets shot in the chest. Mm. That's that's the whole true story. Seems shorter than an hour and a half. Uh, Evan Rachel Wood is Madonna. Is she good? Yeah, really funny. Yeah, uh, and and uh, just seeing Madonna like peak eighties Madonna. Yeah, it, it, it was like well dangly done. earrings and fishnets and, uh, shit and, like and that. constantly wearing the cross and yeah yeah yeah. 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 Uh, uh, well, shit, man. Well, now I don't need to watch it. I feel like I got all of it. Uh, I may have left out a detail. Oh or two. shit. We're gonna have to find out. Conan O'Brien plays a uh, 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 15 minutes of fame guy. Uh, <laughs> 15 minutes of fame guy. Uh, who's the, who's the artist uh, that I'm feeling to? DeBarge. No. <laughs> no. Uh, why can I not? Uh, Andy Warhol. Yeah. Oh, the guy who said 15 minutes yeah. of fame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not somebody who had 15 minutes of fame. Jack Black. There's plays a lot of those. Wolfman Jack. <laughs> That's pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> it's pretty. It's, it's pretty a good. pretty amazing scene. I wonder why I didn't go to theaters. Uh, pandemic, pandemic. Oh, was it done super early? I think it was. I think it was done uh, a couple of years ago. And they of, were just sat on it. Yeah, and then Roku's like, "Well, we've got money because we have all of the TVs out there." Oh, they didn't like make it happen. They like bought it. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh wow! Uh, w w the the project had been floating around for a while. As a matter of fact, if you look at the theatrical trailer for the full movie, 
it is identical to a 10 years ago theatrical trailer parody on Funny or Die. And it's the same director and the same guy. And so you could tell, like, they made the, the trailer parody thing 10 years ago. And they were like, this could be a really funny parody movie. And it floated around Hollywood for 10 full years. And then when they made the current trailer for the parody movie, it reads as identical, only just different actors. Because I think Patton Oswalt was Dr. Demento in the first trailer yeah. on Funny or Die. And uh, uh, I forget the other players. But, but is he is he Doctor Demento in uh, no 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 in, in the uh, new one? Uh, Rain Wilson uh, from uh, uh, from the, uh, office. the office yeah that's a good Doctor Demento yeah oh he's great he's that's great that's a good yeah uh, and also he <laughs> yeah. apparently they shot it in 2019 so yeah it was right before the pandemic oh they started shopping it oh shopping it in 2019 so that sorry. means it was already done yeah it was already done it was done it's in the bag yeah it's in the bag. Put it in a bag. Grab a bag. What kind of bag do you think it was? Uh, a leather uh, bag? No. Plastic bag? No. Burlap I, bag? Uh, recyclable $1 HEB bag. Oh, the film wrapped in this year. Wait. Well, uh, That's a Oh, started to... shopping the idea. Okay. Wow. So it did happen. And Roku. Yeah, Roku made it happen. Because it, it, I, 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 I wouldn't think that they would get... Bryce, the... you're welcome to actually just talk to us. <laughs> Yeah, we, or we can. You wanted your time. You wanted time. <laughs> yeah, this is our time. This is when this we're is, this warming. This is our up. time. This is when we get. This is when we. It's talk. your time green. over there. Do you remember when we were green? Yeah. When do you think we were the greenest? Uh probably BB Live. By like Brian is testing a camera. That was that was pretty green. You know what? I, I bet you. We, do you I think, think we, we would cringe more... if we would if we were to watch that, or would we feel very fond? No, I, I actually think we were more green in the very few first few episodes of NSFW because when we were doing BB Live show, we were able to kind of own the relaxed hangout that we were having, and if we were good. Do you cool. think he would read as that? Because I don't think he would read as that. I think yeah. both you and I were both more white knuckling than we like to remember we were. I don't know, dude. We would go, do you remember the time we went for six hours so long that Ustream had to reset and then we lost four hours of interviewing uh, Dan Trachtenberg? No, we went a while. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that was, that was, yeah, but that was, we had been doing it for a little bit. We had a little bit of momentum. Like we had, uh, uh, we, we had, we had some shit going on. At I don't that know. Point. I think, I think it was only three or four months into it. It was pretty, pretty bunkers. And then by, by the end, we started doing the Adobe shop contests. And like at that point, we, we had our groove. And then all of a sudden, we, oh my gosh, we're under a, a big spotlight. We have an audience who doesn't know who we are. Let's try to alienate them immediately by setting up a Frodo Baggins bit that <laughs> that goes for months. It's pretty good though. It was great. Was it really was great. Good. I feel like I, I no notes. I feel like we <laughs> handled that one really well. There we go. Yeah, that was the first time I was on, and I remember that room in my uh, house in Margate. My uh, is that I the uh, is that that Blazing Saddles poster? That no, that's a good, the bad, and the ugly poster. Got it. Um. But yeah, no, I had the the laptop on my bed, and I was talking to you guys there with the vid blaster trial. <laughs> that that was also like, look, man, as long as that trial logo was on there, then then it, that's like a it's like a shining beacon. That's like a bat signal of amateurs be here, <laughs> you know, yeah. warning people learning how to use a camera. Straight jerkin. That's what we were doing. Straight jerkin. That's uh, uh, that's that was our slogan. For a mm -hmm. while. Yeah. That's why I have it tattooed um, <laughs> under my lip. <laughs> pull it up like that straight jerk. Oh, no, I could definitely see it. That's so what I'm going to do when I get elected president. That's the first thing. Straight jerk. Yeah. Brett! Huzzah, Brett Weaver! I love how you were backlit in that picture, too. Sorry, I should be on the mic. In what? In, uh, yeah. in what? Th th this one here? Ooh, you got a little hot toddy there? No, just, just a caffy. Just a coffee, Just huh? Just got a coffee. Oh, nice. It's hey, like, uh, uh, are, are you guys okay with the, it getting colder? Uh, I'm okay with it. I, I, I don't remember signing off on it specifically, but I'm here for it. I don't mind the temperature. Can't say I love this intermittent rain. Oh, yeah. my least Feels favorite. Very my, my, my least favorite weather pattern is freezing rain. And this is not freezing rain. 
but uh, uh, it is rain. it's close enough that I that I don't like annoying it. rain. Yeah, <laughs> sometimes cold, but not cold enough to be dangerous. <laughs> oh my god, my singing just caused Bryce to fall he out of his over. chair. <laughs> what? Are you able to hear me? Yes. <laughs> Maybe uh, it's my mic was on. Maybe that's no, the okay, now I need to look into this. Okay. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't. I don't like the. Uh, uh, I can't stand the rain, as one Missy Misdemeanor Elliot said. Across my window. Yeah. Oh, you have the webcam. The fucking on? Skype. God damn. Okay, you guys are good. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> that well, that may have. Hold on, let me give you just a moment. <laughs> let me let me soak in this moment. <laughs> That's pretty good. Um, yeah, uh, I'm still so terrified of how dry everything has been. Like uh, we didn't have the October rains that we normally do, right? And so uh, it, it could rain like this every day, and I'd be over it. Okay, the, get that get that uh, the Lake Travis back up, please. Yeah. Wait. How how far are we off from where we need to be? Like 20, 20 feet or something. Like, yeah. Uh, last time, I think it was 2012 that everything was so dry that like entire lake beds were dried up and then there was just a massive flood and it was like, yep. psych, you have water. I mean, it was within like four days it filled back up. Yeah. yeah that, that was the time that uh, uh, Brant's apartment flooded. Oh, Jesus. It was like, like a foot and a half of water in there. November Rain, yep. That was the song when I was a DJ. That was, if I was playing November Rain, it's because I was going to take a poop. You're that taking was, a shit. Yeah, just, yeah. That was my taking a dump song. Dropping a deuce. Yep. <laughs> that Give me nine minutes. I'll be all right. Uh, so where, where did you DJ? Uh, I was a radio guy at uh, KTBQ Nacogdoches Lufkin. In uh, Nacogdoches, Texas. Mm. And then also at KPFT uh, in Houston for seven years. Seven years? Yep. Uh, were you nightly, daily, weekly, uh, weekly minutely? Weekly Friday mornings. Thursday the night, Friday spot. morning. So you got, yeah, the prime time. It huh? was pretty good. And we were right across the street from this really gay bar, this awesome gay bar. <laughs> hold and on, so hold on, wait, wait. We, I would There's call a, in. I would go a gay across bar the street. And a really gay bar. Can yeah. you, yeah, I also want to know it's the quality. <laughs> What's like, so could you walk by a gay bar and be like, that's a shitty gay bar? Yes. What's a shitty gay bar to a to a great gay bar? Uh, a bunch what? of dudes and chicks making out. What? <laughs> <laughs> You're like that's a shitty that's gay bar. That's the worst gay bar I've ever so, seen. <laughs> They're all like, we're all breeders. So a straight bar is the worst gay there. bar. Yeah, the family. It's the Applebee's. <laughs> it was a gay bar. Applebee's, the worst Applebee's. gay bar. That's yeah. what it was. It was Applebee's. Applebee's. Yeah, that's the worst gay bar ever. Like even these dump, these half priced apps won't solve this problem. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, it was great because it had the dance floor, it had the bar, it had enough people to get in to get packed in there. The weird bathrooms with the open stalls. I was the, gonna uh, say it, they they, pra they packed it assholes to elbows, but I don't know whether that would be offensive. Yeah, I don't. Is know. it offensive to say that that gay bar was packed assholes to elbows? Because I, I, I think it's a euphemism, but it is pretty evocative. It's. Uh, I think it's apt. It paints a word picture. Would, would, would it be more offensive to add the word consensual, or would that be more appropriate? Consensual assholes to elbows. I mean, once you paint a picture of an asshole going into or being penetrated by, by an elbow, elbow, then it, it really you're inviting it to be taken wherever you want to go. But okay, like, yeah. let's 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 analyze <laughs> analyze this. Uh, <laughs> the, uh, Thank uh, you. I guess I guess. Uh, ouch. Uh, uh, no, <laughs> that kind of, we're talking that about shitty slogan. gay bars now. Gay oh, Gay which... Gandalf joins us now at the turning of the tide, <laughs> aka Gandalf. There we go. Yeah. 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 Hi, everybody. Hey, well, we know we know you well, weren't just friends with Saruman, my I guy. Was, I was uh, I was getting you know as we were talking about this, I'm like. So it's three straight guys, and we're going to talk about gay bars. And that's, uh, no, that's a great idea. Somebody's got to gay explain it. It's uh, <laughs> the uh, uh, I, there was a show. I was on the show where I was the the straight voice. There was there was a gay. Uh, the host was gay. He had a bisexual friend on, and they were talking. And it was just so happened I got there early to start picking out my music, and they're like. 
you can be the straight boy. So I'm like, I've never. Oh, I'm the straight straight man. I'm gonna be the straight yeah, man. The straight yeah. man. Yeah. 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 So, uh, yeah. Mm. I was like, this is the weirdest feeling ever. So. <laughs> yeah. Well, speaking, and uh, I think well, that's where uh, I was like, speaking as a straight man. Bryce, uh, would, would you like to add to Brett's hierarchy of gay bar <laughs> quality? Like, what would you define as a poor gay bar, a mediocre gay bar, and a great gay bar? Um, uh, I feel like a, a straight bar would be a mediocre gay bar. It probably wouldn't be great. <laughs> right. Okay. But I think it could so, do work. So at just Applebee's. like a, 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 a bar with a... Is a dance floor a must for a good gay bar? No. No, no right? No. But I'm just so used to going, because I lived in Montrose oh, in man. Houston, and mm -hmm. there all the gay bars had, yeah. they had uh, uh, the cages with the guys in the marble sacks, mm -hmm. and they had the dance floor. Sorry, did you always... say marble sacks? Yeah, they yeah. Had marble sacks. That's the kind of bag that you would put it in. <laughs> oh, the yeah. Marble sack. The marble sack. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I guess we're the worst gay bar. Yeah, this is, if you go into this gay bar and you're like, oh my god, I'm gonna go on gay Yelp and give this thing <laughs> one gay star. <laughs> let me pull out my gay know, iPhone. Yeah, I'm just gonna pull out my gay <laughs> iPhone. Let me gay double tap. Like, yeah. <laughs> let me do gay face ID. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's a and then it's a one star. <laughs> I would not recommend gay style. Yes. Gay style. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like okay, so the worst gay bar it it would have to be it would have to be a bad bar first off. Yes. So right. bad service. Bad service. Yeah. Uh, um, uh, don't know how. Now to make would a would you say bar. like an empty? Because like this is where you get into this weird thing of like, mm -hmm. is it a bad bar or a dive bar? Mm -hmm. If it's like empty or like has just like kind of a weird clientele. If it's the right weird clientele, then mm -hmm. it's kind of a dive bar, sure. and everybody likes it. But if, if it's, it's like one of those six street bars where you can see. <laughs> Right down to the very back. Yeah, of the then place. it's like, oh, this is just an empty bar and it sucks. Out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's sad. yeah. I've seen those. It is sad because there's so much turnover at those places too because yeah. those bars are not in a good spot. Right. All right. So, so um, bad service. Bad service. Bad drinks. Like the drinks are just bad. Yeah. Um, can, can I make a pitch for what might be the worst gay bar ever? Yeah. Uh, first of all, no personal service. Like there's no establishing eye contact with the bartender. Instead, everyone has a terminal that they just log their drink in. All of the seats look like they're comfortable, but none of them can move. They're all cemented into the ground. There are fluorescent lights all around you. Mm -hmm. There's no music, just announcements of what flights are late. Yeah, Brian's just <laughs> describing the United Terminal. He's just describing I was waiting. the yeah. United Terminal. Yeah, yeah this seems it's very specific. It's going to be... Yeah. <laughs> I, you know what? I will agree. I think at like an airport, especially like not in like the nice lounges yeah. where the people who have like points and stuff go. Sure. Like the gate. The gate is the worst gate. The bar. gate bar. The, the gate gatekeepers. Bar. The, yeah. yeah. We're gatekeeping the gate now. Yeah. That would probably be pretty bad. Do, and then, all right, so the, this, no, it's a food court. It's a little food Ooh, court where they yeah. have all the tables and stuff. Uh, with the floor, floor yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like half the restaurants are closed. And a, a, a failing Sabaros. Sure. Uh, <laughs> but, there, you, is, but you is, repeat yourself. Yeah. Is the Sabaros <laughs> ever really failing? Like they're going to be around longer than they we will. are. Yeah. They, mm -hmm. they just have to sell one Stromboli every eight hours. I have sell day. one big slice of pizza a day. Yeah. For me, it's like every six years I have to remind myself why I hate that place. I used to love it. I'll, I'll you tell used you what, man. To love it. Oh, yeah. Their breakfast. You went through a Sabaro phase. Like, like when it's six a.m. Yeah. and they're the, the first 80s. ones open, and they've made a pizza with eggs on it. It's the craziest thing. I'm, You're I'm specifically here for it. talking it's... about the fact that the Orleans Subway doesn't open in the morning anymore. Uh, you know what's funny is I didn't realize that's what I was talking about, but suddenly it, it was like I was in <laughs> in my mind. I was in an airport, and all of a sudden you spoke words, and I went, <laughs> yes. and I was yeah. back at the Orleans. No, exactly. <laughs> that, that, the that, number the, two restaurant. <laughs> The, the, the subway Thunder used to be 24 hours, and Brian and yeah, used to get yeah, breakfast at the subway, and now the only thing that's open is the Sabaro. Totally <laughs> threw off our whole betting schedule on the set the over under on subway. It did, action. yeah, because you would have eaten a lot more subs. Oh my god! I All right, so Bryce, it. what's the best gay bar? What is what is a 10 out of 10 platinum mm. gay bar? I guess it, I guess that's where it gets into 
personal preference, right? Yeah. Like I'm not a. Is it too personal? Person. We, 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 like, we, you know. So yeah, no. so so you wouldn't, <laughs> you you don't you don't want the uns uns like not do do, do you want the dudes in their marble sacks dancing in the cages or no? Not really. Like, too I much. Like, I like, too much. Uh, Charlie's here uh, in Austin. Cheer, Cheer up, up, Charlie's. Cheer up, yeah. Charlie's. Yeah. Place. Yeah. It's like part indoor, part outdoor. They have two. They have an indoor and an outdoor stage. So mm-hmm. when they do live music, music yeah. yeah. But so, then, but but it's not all consuming. Right. 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 And so I don't know. I, something like that, um, where it's a kind of di- I guess maybe get a little divey. A little divey. A little divey. Yeah. 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 I like bars just in general that are a little divey. I would I would guess that really the quality of the gay bar would would probably be in the amount and quality of the gay people there, right? Like, is that is yeah, that part of I what could, defines it? It's like I like the clientele. That. Like, you want your gay cheers, you know? Like, like gay just, norm. Which is yeah, cheer exactly. Yeah. Gay yeah, hello, is. yeah. <laughs> which is kind of cheer up. Tra- I mean, cheer Charlie's is kind of that little hole in the wall. Yeah, the spot. Everybody yep. knows you're gay. <laughs> <laughs> Here's your gay tab, sir. <laughs> but I wanted my bill, not a drink. Uh, no, I'll, have, I'll have a gay McConaughey's. <laughs> now, actually, that would actually sell better, I think. You think? I, I you would, think they I should rather, rename it. Oh, I'd rather. I mean, they should write during now, Pride Month. They should just rename they should it rename gay, gay McConaughey. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. okay. <laughs> Do you know what I heard the other day? Book it, Twisted X. <laughs> You're welcome. I, don't, I, I heard uh, life advice I had not heard of before. What's that? Okay. If you wear shoes at your job, if you're in your and you stand for a lot uh, for a long period a lot of time, time, yeah, you should have two pairs of shoes and swap them every day. Yes, because the foam and stuff in the shoe needs time to unwind. Yes, and it may need more than say sixteen hours to fully like decompress. Yes. I never thought about that, but it mm. makes them last a lot longer, supposedly. When when I uh, uh, I bought shoes, in fact, these shoes right here. Oh, those are nice. Are uh, one of two pairs that I did just for that because yeah. I had read that, and I did the same thing with my my Chuck Taylor shoes too i wanted to make sure i had more than chuck taylor's man it's like you might as well just duct tape some cardboard to the bottom of your foot like there's there's no no they got better support. nike bought them really? and, yeah, and, 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 and oh, they really? put nike yeah. insoles in them oh, so now okay. they don't suck but yes it used to be the fucking worst oh yeah, yeah. but i call them like those were my ninja shoes too because i could walk really quietly because i could feel the ground Really, yeah. you could see great them. for assassinations yeah that's just, right oh, yeah when i kill yeah. people they never heard me coming this <laughs> uh so oh sorry I'm what do sorry. you mean nothing no i i didn't i didn't know what you said <laughs> i said i said can you repeat when that when i killed people and they never this? heard me come <laughs> <laughs> i held up my jacket I as said, if i was bugged with a really microphone like, like this is an audio podcast i like to watch a like a police procedural where someone's wearing a wire <laughs> and they're and they're at, and like the person is confessing and they are still like asking like leading like when did you stop beating your wife like something yeah. like that. but they've already got the confession. <laughs> uh, the the uh, one of my favorite yeah. things watching Miami Vice is is noticing all the production these stuff and like whenever they have somebody wear a wire I'm like this is just a really bad lavalier setup like why are you well, doing that is it what that a wire way? is yeah yeah. But but, uh, usually, but, but, but but you could tell it, that they're all like they didn't go to the props department for the wires. Yeah, they just <laughs> they just went to production and right. got Give one of the microphone and then they stuck it on the chest or whatever. Went to a church and got the wireless set up. Uh, also, like I was really disappointed because as a kid, I always thought that there was something cooler whenever somebody undercover would whisper into their sleeve, like he's on the move, do the whatever. And then it's like I look, and it's like it's definitely just gaff tape and a lavalier in their sleeve. Right. But I don't think the actual like police wires are really any different than that, than I, than like what we use. Not I mean, anymore. nowadays, I would imagine well, they, they they record the little flash drives. Well, or, they have the the wires that go into your hair that you can put in your hair, right. so it's. Oh, so it's now they the when hair. they're checking when they're patting you down, they yeah, when they when they're, when they're ripping open your shirt. Yeah, yeah. you could be nothing there, like, but then they check your hair too, well, especially your hair. 
It would check my hair. Yeah, especially yeah, your yeah. hair. Uh, actually, no, you should hair. you should go undercover all the time and always wear like four wires. And, How do you and, know I'm not right now? Uh, well, uh, I mean, I know you got one right there. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying to investigate all these gay bars. <laughs> <laughs> This is, uh, now, would you say this is a good gay bar? Or? <laughs> yes, yeah. you, you can be honest with me. I'm just gonna lean my head into your face. <laughs> that you might a be a cat? good pickup move. That might be a good pickup move. Like, hey, how's hey, it going? Right. Yeah, Maybe, yeah. Oh, no, I'm, I'm, no, you know, I'm yeah. seeing it. It's a little pick me. It's yeah. a little. It's too desperate. A little desperate. <laughs> Does it read sweaty? <laughs> thirsty. It reads thirsty. Really, thirsty. Yeah. 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 Like, oh man. Like hey. especially to do it like a stranger. Yeah. You can't do that to a stranger. It does seem a little middle school dance. Yeah. yeah. Uh when when are you gonna teach us the secret gay handshake? <laughs> Sorry, I just thought that was a funny idea <laughs> that there would be like a fraternity handshake. <laughs> Answer the man. <laughs> He asked you a question. It was open and honest. Well, I'm going to need to see it's, your card. It, 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 it's, yeah. it's the holiday season. I need your card or your oh, permit. No, no, my, <laughs> I, can't. I, I don't have a yeah, gay permit. Sorry, yeah. we can't. I mean, there's rules. How much do you think a gay permit would cost? They'd probably soak you, these bastards. <laughs> yeah, probably in like... Like, you could probably get it from the government for like 20 bucks, but they're like bougie there's, places. Yeah, but like you could do it. 60 bucks. Exactly, yeah. yeah. You think they would change every year? Like a like property tax based on how gay you were. <laughs> Appealing my gay card. Sorry. Yeah. It'd be like again, you'd get your estimate every every year, and you'd be like, "I'm fucking not this gay. I gotta appeal." And you have everyone to, appeals. To everyone. Work. Yeah. So no, it's fine. Everybody. They knock twenty percent off your off your yes. gay estimate. <laughs> I'm sorry, it's sir. Fine. This is expired. What? what? No, I. Oh. Ah, shit. Right. Oh, I feel like I forgot a, how to. Be gay. If your I'm license, over 40. yeah, yeah, your license <laughs> elapsed. Bonded. Can't be gay anymore. Yeah, I was uh, doing a survey for a social network site that we use a lot, mm -hmm. and they asked uh, what age I am, and the uppest, up, uppermost limit was like 35. It was very de -heart disheartening. Uh, it, it, it's not YouTube, is it? No, it's okay because it's YouTube is one. like actively begging for us to answer questions about our demographics, and I'm like, "There's nothing." Like they're like, "Don't worry, we'll keep it totally secret." I'm like, "You have like, all that information, right?" Yeah. It's like, it's like, like I would ask you, yeah. right? It's like, it's like, uh, okay, so, so uh, they're like, uh, and then they they change the phrasing where it's like, to stop any accidental unfairnesses. Uh, Please tell us your race. I'm like, the fuck are you doing? No, oh, <laughs> like, like, how does this end up? I have, good? I have heard, I have heard things in the world of social media that that is a major fucking problem. Is that they these platforms get criticized for being discriminatory? That like, they're not, they're not surfacing yeah. more BIPOC creators or queer creators or this, that, and the other. But yet they have no legal. They can't legally. Say like, good. Hey, They're like, what are you? Right. What, like, what race are I, you? We would like to either favor or disfavor you based on that. Also, do you like dicks or yeah. <laughs> do you like now, vaginas? And now, but so now they're like they're begging people to voluntarily no, say, "I refuse." Hey, please yeah. do it. But it's it's mostly because they want to be able to surface the right people and well, not in, have in it that case i'm doing them around. a favor by not saying <laughs> i'm a middle-aged white cis man no and there's a month for you now <laughs> Wait, no there isn't is <laughs> there, there is yeah no, there's 11 please. months yeah. for them, yeah. 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 For them. For them. <laughs> i became a it's, them it's <laughs> how's it feel god this feels it's like august my, my oh. family reunion i would like to Louisiana. apply for a permit <laughs> <laughs> no, the the survey that i also was taking was very much of like how do you feel like we're doing about diversity what how do you yeah. feel like we're doing for creators Stuff like that. And it was very funny to do to answer some of those questions of like, what could we do to make creators feel more appreciated? And all of their ideas were horseshit. <laughs> they were all like, <laughs> what were they? We could, uh, well, what if we sent you a certificate when you hit a certain <laughs> metric? Or what if uh, what if we made the the help portal better? No one wants to use a help portal. I've tried well, to use their help portal. Yeah. There's nothing good in there. Um, should we there's a ghost. 
<laughs> sure. Uh, what, uh, what about a new Snapchat filter that <laughs> altered your race to they had other that. races? They had those. Did they? Was it, was it Snapchat or Instagram? One of them. There, there have been a few of those that have popped up. Woof. They yeah. don't stick around for very long. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> now I just want to dive into all the different. Let's filters. go. Where do you want to start? Which one to which one? Which one? Uh, so, uh, uh, uh. <laughs> white people, white people having fun, global domination for everyone. everyone. We're all saying it at the same time because we're white people, yeah. Telling that I wasn't speaking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Telling. Put that. Another clue for everybody. <laughs> what am day. I? Put it down in your home game. <laughs> well, uh, eventually, we'll figure it out. Uh, this Thanksgiving on not. Glass Onion. <laughs> It's, it's part of the big reveal by Benoit Blanc. <laughs> so, sorry, what? And also, Justin is Puerto Rican. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like... And like, you're like, surprise! Like, Who's Justin? Apropos of nothing. <laughs> yeah. So I'm not in the movie. Nope. It's just my boy... Those who know. Ryan, no. Wil Ryan Wilson? No. Uh, Johnson. Uh, Johnson. No, Johnson. Johnson. Yeah. Yeah, Ryan Johnson, director, but uh, it's uh, James Bond... Is the guy? He is. He is. He's the guy. Yep. He's the guy. Good for him. James he looks Bond like is he looks like the one guy. Of my he what? He looks Does like he? he's getting younger. Like he's, he looks like a younger version of one of my uncles. Like I, when I first saw him, I go, "That guy's not from Louisiana." And they're like, "No, he's British." Uh, Did you see him in the movie where he played a southerner? Uh, yes. What was it? Lucky uh, Logan. The, Logan uh, Lucky. Lo lo Logan, Logan Lucky. Lucky. Yeah. yeah. That was when he play. started doing silly accents. Yeah, but it was fun. Yeah, he, was fun. he certainly seemed like he was having a good yep. time. I mean, he, he was Southern and Knives Out, the first one, right? Yeah. yeah. But no, but he was like lucky. wacky. He was God, wacky God. Southern, in, in, and then he did that one. And I'm like, boy, you like doing silly accents. Oh, yeah. I mean, what a great job. <laughs> like, I mean, you have to get them right. Otherwise, everyone gets mad at you. Yeah. I thought he was good in Knives Out. The rest of the mm -hmm. movie was... Mm -hmm. You know who those are? Haters. <laughs> Haters. I hope the new one's good. The new one looks good. Uh, I like all the actors in it. Yep. It's got to be like a safe bet. That I, I mean, the, the fact that they're not putting this out for... Uh, we were talking about this last week. Uh, it doesn't look like they're putting this out because they think it's going to get an Oscar. It looks like they're just like, yeah, whatever. We'll go into theaters now. But we're going to keep saying that we won't because we don't want to hear it from directors. Right. <laughs> we want to still release everything straight to streaming. I think that they they think that they might have a shot. I mean, people in Hollywood love them movies. Yeah. Uh, uh yeah, I guess it could be. I'm still of the same opinion of what? Of them movies? Of of uh, what's going to well, I think it still should win the Oscar for best film. What's Oh, oh, everything everything, everything yeah, all yeah. at once. I I That was this year, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. Boy, I really hope they they treat it with that. Kind and of it respect. came out what in, in in February? Pretty early. Early, right? Yeah. yeah. So that would that would good. be that would be a big that'd be a big switch. Yeah. That because usually those movies that win the Oscar don't come out that early because it's late. But yeah, I know it's one of those they they need to be reminded that this was a great fucking. It movie. feels. I, bought it. I it, ended up buying it. It feels like either a best screenplay or a best director win though. Yeah. Because uh, that like like anything that's that eccentric and yeah. that out there, like yeah. it'll get rewarded, but was, very was it, rarely does it get best picture. I, I just want to I want to uh, point the, something out. The, the, the brother the Russo brothers uh, who it was or, no, or, the or no the Daniels. Oh. The Daniels. Uh, more brothers? No. no. One's white, one's Asian. But they both have okay. They did they did No, uh, their first uh, name are the same and they call themselves the, the Daniels. Daniels. Right. And they did uh um uh, Army's Swiss Army Man. Oh, that's right. The farting yeah. carpet and, movie. And and the turned down for what music video? Yep. Really? Yep. Yeah. Uh, I I liked uh, the music video more than I liked Swiss Army Man. You want to know it? Me too. <laughs> uh, hey, BioCal, you can uh, you can reach me on one of the things if you want to lodge a complaint. We can talk about it. Yeah. Hey, man, uh, are are people still thinking they're gonna leave Twitter? Because they ain't. No, they're doing it right now. They're they're leaving. Watch them go. Oh. Oh, 
I joked that it was watching people leave Twitter was like watching people leave the office in severance. <laughs> <laughs> they're definitely really mad. And they're like, definitely walking right out that door. Ding, yeah. That door yeah. opens up. <laughs> it's just it's and they're like But they're mad. Like like they're really mad. I, I I I mentioned this before, but that's my new favorite game is watching people post on Twitter what they posted over on Mastodon so that somebody would see. My it. favorite thing about this it was was Elon going if you're not all in and you're not gonna be, if you're not gonna do this by Thursday and be all in, then you need to get out and you get three months. And everybody's like, bye. Yep. <laughs> I think that's good. That's good. Everybody, I mean, we know people that yeah. got that got that case. Yeah. Uh, 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 hypothetically, have you know yourself a merry little Christmas. They may oh, that, that's what he. That's what he said. They didn't get cut the first time, and then they were given an opportunity to yeah. get cut. Yeah. And then they're like, "Yeah, no, I'll opt in." <laughs> I've been faced with that a couple of times. Where yeah. I'm like, am I up for the riff? No. Can I be up what, for the so, riff? So I should do that to myself. myself. Yeah, that's the problem with being self-employed. That you that can't, you can't storm out on yourself. I'm gonna fucking fire myself. Yeah. So, so they will fire myself from this from, show. From I'll see y'all in three angles, months. There's something I don't understand from the populace of Twitter who are all like, "Well, oh, that's not going to be profitable or whatever." It's like all of you hate Elon Musk, and now he owns the whole company. Wouldn't you be happier if it wasn't profitable <laughs> as long as you're able to talk to all your friends? Yeah. So why do you want it's, you don't want it to be profitable? And then meanwhile, Elon Musk is like so many active users. I'm like, why are you saying that? Like you bought the whole company. There's no shares to pump up with this talk. Right. I, what are you doing? You're inherently looking for logic in an illogical situation. Mm. It's Twitter. It's madcap it's fucking camelot in uh, uh, uh holy grail like like it's just a silly place where people just bash plates on top of each other's head and spit mm -hmm. in each other's mouth and do a backflip and you know like pretend they're dead and then, and, yeah play and then dab <laughs> yeah <laughs> they play yakety sax and then everyone's like like oh let's elect a president here better. and everyone's it's like fucking cool whatever like we live in a fucking chaotic bizarre world nothing matters it's a fucking nihilist paradise <laughs> Oh, that was another Welcome. thing. His Welcome. Dad, his yeah. dad was ashamed yeah. because he was raised Amish and played the accordion. That's why he hated accordions. Oh, because it was a, it was technology. Yeah, but then but oh. then he discovered a very I didn't old hear this. lyrics. I didn't want to hear this. To, yeah, you want him to go f more? Or? No, I can keep going. No, see, okay. this is my gotta, trademark fucking mean string. Okay, <laughs> well, I, mean, I guess well, ah, well, if, if then I give. The platform back to the world. <laughs> Where, oh, hey, Andrew oh, Heaton's hey. here. Hey. And that's all the time we have. Yeah, we're actually ending this. We're ending this. Start we're, it over. Yeah. <laughs> no, you can. Live. You can. You, 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 you can sing our outro theme song with me. Here we go. Making the way in the world, you're gay. Takes everything you got. <laughs> and all, uh, uh, being gay uh, and having some sorrows sure, sure would help a lot. Sucks. You had to put a point on it. The point being the dick. Two, three, Sometimes four. Wouldn't you like to be some gay? gay? Really do, 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 do. Sometimes, Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows you're gay. <laughs> da, da, da. And they're always glad you're gay. <laughs> da, da, da. Flight 2150 <laughs> is delayed. <laughs> You want to know if yeah. people know that you have no shame. shame. You want to know where everybody knows you're gay. Do -do 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 -do. This is a gay Frasier episode. Yeah. Sit, See ya, Bryce. Sit, sit. Good dog. <laughs> okay, thank you to the green room. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us here. We're back here in the, uh, the before show portion of the show. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us here. Once again, great night. Is the name of the program? I'm joined with Annalisa. Hello. Here in the in the pre-show zone. You want to do some birthday borners with me? Uh, sure. Point on the screen where we are starting. Uh, uh, we're gonna do it's gonna be right here. So, okay. uh, 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 in our Discord, Discord.GreatNight.TV is where you can go and uh, uh, post about when you or a loved one have a birthday. In our birthday borner channel, it's up at the top of the channel list here. We got a few, including uh, this one from Ghost uh, on the 16th, born three minutes apart. Luke and Dahlia. Children number four and five of the family. Happy Ooh, birth. Yeah, new babies. Yeah. For uh, humans. Dahlia is 6.3 pounds. Luke is 8.1 pounds. Wow. 
And today, oh my goodness, you want to read this one? Today is also... Today is Daddy's birthday. That's Ghost's birthday. Yeah. Happy birthday. Happy bir a lot of birthdays. Today? Yeah, that's today. Today, that is today. Oh my gosh. Uh, and Nick with the C is reminding us that Roger Chang's birthday is today. Happy birthday, Roger. If you want to give some birthday shout outs, please head on over to discord.greatnight.tv and uh, post it there in the birthday corner. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to uh, the pre-show. We got a little bit more time here before we get started. Uh, Annalisa, mm -hmm. do you have any Thanksgiving plans? Why, yes, I do, oh. as a matter of fact. Oh, what are you doing? I'm cooking enough food for probably 30 people. You're cooking so much. Nice. You, <laughs> you sent over the list of stuff you were making, and uh, I couldn't yeah. believe how... I. I thought it was like a buffet. I was like, is she kidding? This catered? What the? No. So my, my family has no chill, and my husband's family has no chill. And when you put the two together at my house, mm -hmm. I have no chill. <laughs> <laughs> so you have to, like, impress them? Are you, are you doing I, it to the impress thing them? thing is, like, okay, so it's both of my parents, my sister-in-law, uh, my... That's it. Those are my people. And then you and Jeff, uh -huh. and then my husband's uncle and his husband... And separately, each of these groups, <laughs> uh, I am I'm cool with, and they know that they know who I am, and so yeah. I'm very curious to see am oh. I going to be a different person? <laughs> the three different sets of people. No, I do I do that too, where I I I become very different around my parents. <laughs> I, 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 this we're we're we're, we're I'm on the edge of the line here, but. Uh, 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 I, I kind of just shut down. Uh, when yeah, I'm, I, around, I'm, I kinda... I'm coping with it by making so much food that I'm just going to be busy the entire time. <laughs> oh, yeah. That, that, that'll that be how I know that you're, like, managing is if I never see you at the party. If you're just, like, still <laughs> cooking and, like, doting oh, well, on people. the fun part is that uh, my house is one of those uh, super open concept ones. So the kitchen, the dining room, the living room, and the coffee nook or whatever it's supposed to be are all the same big room. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. So... None of us can escape from each other. <laughs> You're gonna. Fortunately, it's gonna be raining that day, so I can't even send anybody out to the patio. Uh, We're all gonna be in there. Bummer. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, I my uncle sent me a text uh, on the drive over here saying, uh, <laughs> "Is very well intentioned." But I guess uh, he saw a news link that said uh, in Texas, there, uh, the, somewhere in Texas is going to get like an entire season's worth of snow, like overnight someday this week. That sounds like North Texas. And it was that, North Texas. That would be North Texas. <laughs> it was North Texas. No, it was not down please. here. Um, but, uh, but it was very sweet that he was thinking of me. It was He was saying, you should, I should go get gas. <laughs> so, I mean... Uh, <laughs> I should well, go get gas, because gas prices are down. Yeah, no, uh, the, the HEB up near my house is like 285 now. Ooh, that's pretty good. So, uh, yeah. Uh, is, uh, how, is, uh, this is not your first time hosting Thanksgiving, right? Mm, no. Uh, how many... Do you do the, like, do you rotate? Do you do the rotate thing? Uh, with the family? No. Um, and the, so when it was when it's my parents, people, and that side of the family, mm. um, up until two, well, up until two years ago, we'd always it was like my brother's favorite holiday. So and he would that would be like his one day off for the year that was like certain to be off. So we always planned to have uh, it at his house, and he would cook like everything and cook way too much, and he'd do super cool stuff like instead of a turkey. Um, he would do like game hens cooked in a pumpkin. Oh! Uh, one year he served shark that he caught himself. Ooh! Yeah, and That's then one cool. day just to just to can get you do that? I guess I guess depending on the shark. Yes, depending on the shark <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and where you catch it. Um, and then one year just I guess to be funny, he served us tofurkey. <laughs> <laughs> it came in a little pie pan. Did it? Could could you tell from could like did, could you tell from the taste? Oh, I couldn't. I didn't taste it. Oh, okay. And I was <laughs> thankfully I was not able to eat stuff like that back then. <laughs> so I was like, I'll just eat the Brussels sprout. Yeah. Thank you. That's weird. Uh, everyone in the chat is losing their their goddamn mind that you said you had gas for two eighty five here. Uh, yeah, Texas gas. You know what? Texas gas is kind of cheap. Well, <laughs> also, I, I, I do live outside of Austin, technically. Uh, so. Oh, we're getting a call here. Boop, 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 boop. Hello, caller. Hey, what's up? It's me. I run the gas station. I heard you all was talking about gas. Yeah, you know, we, we're, we're, we're sharing some of our prices of gas. We're, we're responding to the idea that two eighty five might be relatively cheap for gas. What say you? Well, I, well, I don't know what you got on you. <laughs> well, I got. I think I got a twenty here. Yeah. 
Yeah. Okay. That'll get me half a tank. I'll, 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 uh, uh, well, mainly the thing to remember is we make it here. <laughs> so yeah. We don't have distribution. Yeah. Also, Texas is renowned for having low taxes. Anyway, that's me, Texas gas station man, Manly McManson. Oh. I'm, I'm, okay. Please uh, buy my plushie dolls. Well, they look like me. Almost all the way. <laughs> Okay, well, thank you, man. man, man Manly McMahon. Well, yeah, man, thank you, Annalisa. I'm McMahon. not good with names. Ma- Manly McMahon. <laughs> Ma- okay. Marilyn McMahon. No, no, it's Manly. Mar- uh, Marilyn McMahon had a floor removed so he could suck his basement? Yep. <laughs> yep. Yeah, I, I did. Sure. <laughs> I did. I've done it. Sounds right. That's where your profits that's, go, that's where the money goes. That's where the money Follow the money. It goes down to the basement. Okay. Definitely how houses and renovations right, work. Can I hang up yeah. now? Thank you, Colin. <laughs> All right, bye. <laughs> I'm glad he called it to let us know. Yeah, that's great. That's good. Uh, Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, I guess it's cheaper. Yeah, here. so, uh, but, yeah. And, uh, um, woo, that just made me. <laughs> Uh, anyway, th- uh, we, yeah, we talked on cheap and it's all it's an yeah. H-E-B gas station, too. So yeah, there's other gas store. stations in town that actually have normal prices like three twenty five, three thirty, yeah. which is probably all. Oh, yep. I see four seventy four forty nine five twenty. Oh, well, that's oh, California, California though. Yeah. That's that, uh, that comes that, with a hand. That job. almost needs an exchange rate sort of thing set up so that we know <laughs> like. California, California versus money versus Texas. Texas money. I know it's all the same money, but okay. it's not. <laughs> I was about to remind. I d- I know I didn't need to remind you, but I did want to remind our listeners they're the same currency. It is the same currency. It's the same one, actually. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it weird that our country is as big as all of Europe? <laughs> uh, way and bigger. Some. And then, and then some. some. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, uh, we, we got a caller. Boom, boom, boom. Hey, it's Manly again. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, Mr. I, Manly. I forgot I had established this character, so I have to keep on going. Okay. Uh, yeah. uh, you know, I was watching all the CNN. I was, I was looking at the uh, 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 the war with the Ukraine, and I remember thinking, the uh, Ukraine, that's the size of Texas. And, I, and then I reconsidered the map of Texas, and I thought, Kiev, Dallas, Kiev, Dallas. What would it be like if Oklahoma <laughs> invaded Texas and tried Ooh. to take over Dallas? Wow, that's close. That, anyway, yeah. that's, no, thank that's you. my thought for the day. It's free Manly. Bye. Thank you, Mr. Manly. And I'm going to hang up on, on you. Manly uh, McMansion. Manly McMansion, yeah. He's going to show up again sometime. Hey, might. Well, I, I don't know. Maybe eagle-eared listeners will uh, keep an ear out for that. Mm. Uh, but, but, okay, we, we talked about this on the Court Killers After Talk. Check it out, Patreon. And uh, what's the best Thanksgiving side? Best and worst. Oh no! Um, because I was, like I like a mac and cheese, but I. Oh my oh, goodness! No, Everyone is is a, recoiling at my. No, I'm not recoiling. I'm just that's like the one thing that I didn't make. <laughs> it's fine. It, no, oh, you're no. making no, oh, no. Stop! <laughs> stop it! Stop it! Can I get oh, someone you call st- in? Oh, you. <laughs> Where? Oh, hi. Hello. Did you pick up my call? Uh, yes, caller. Hi. I wanted to know what kind of noodles you like in your mac and oh, cheese. Do you like a thick mm. noodle or a, or a thin noodle? Wait, Thanks, am, call I, am I on the air as well? Yeah, Marilyn McMansion, you're here also, okay, Miss Man. Uh, wait, it's, 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 it's Manly McMansion, but, but uh, I, think I, said I, that. I have a feeling that, that Annalise is definitely going to have mac and cheese made for you. <laughs> Maybe. Okay, well now I'm not just because you're betting on. I'll, that's but what I'll bring. I'll, I'll make some craft mac and cheese. I'll, also, I'll yield my time to um, the other. I'm colleague. still, I'm still <laughs> on. I just wanted to know whether or not, like, it's like a very thick, I like, I like, uh, like a big tube or uh, like, uh, like maybe a thin, I like thinner. The thin. I like yeah. the craft blue box. Caller, what type of pasta do you like in your mac and cheese? I'm sorry, I don't understand the question. <laughs> okay, well, I think we might. Oh, well, I'll tell you what kind I like. What do you like? And I can't ever find it anymore. What's so it? the Skinner brand of pasta makes Texas-shaped pasta. Ooh. And that's my favorite for mac and cheese. That's fun. <gasps> Jive Damien just said I'll make it happen. <laughs> I told you he's going to be his best friend. Uh, yeah, well, uh, Thanksgiving's coming up. Thank you to Annalisa for, <laughs> for uh, opening in her house. Oh, uh, by, by the way, you are still doing uh, some Strangerous stuff, right? Yes, With, uh, Strangerous, Jason? Dungeons and Dragons, sort of a homebrew thing. Yeah. What's um, what's the name of the campaign? Roll Roll Fast Dice it's, Hard? Okay, yeah, Roll Fast Dice Hard. Yeah, um, that's a good At name. Roll Dice Hard on Twitter, mm. and that'll take you to the links to everything, at Roll Dice Hard. Um, and we're not doing anything this Thursday night, but other than that, it's Thursday nights at 9 p.m. Central. Um, and Oh, yeah, I guess you're probably not going to want to do it this Thursday night. <laughs> 
no. You're probably gonna you're probably gonna I be told, doing something else. I told him I would try, and he was like, <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Don't make mac and cheese. Don't do the stream on Thursday. Come on, Halloween. It's a holiday. It's supposed to not be working. <laughs> I, I don't know any better. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, I'll let you go on a journey of self-discovery to know some better. Okay. Thank you, Annalise. But yeah, come watch us Thursday nights. Yeah, we uh, we kill Dr. Broccoli or something like that. Oh, no. Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, thank you, Annalise. You know, you know what I found out, which was interesting, is, uh, uh, you know, the, the Broccoli family who control the James Bond estate? Oh, yeah. Uh, did you know, caller, uh, that... That oh is... yeah no that's I I know but I I, I want to hear it from your mouth <laughs> <laughs> that, that's my new character guy who already knows already but know. wants you to say it uh, the broccoli family uh, are descendant from the guy who named broccoli and they named broccoli after the family the food broccoli is named after the people the family who owned James Bond not the other way around uh I that's, I did not see that coming it's incredible they like. Their grandfather just fucking invented broccoli. <laughs> like, like, was was it a case of of actual like cross pollination to create it, or? Oh, goodness gracious! Oh, I, and we love that answer here. Uh, oh man! And you know, caller, thank you for the question. We love. I love que the thing I love about questions. I'll like take that. my answer off the air. Thank you. <laughs> I'll, I'll check it in. A, I'll check it in a minute. Um, thank you, everybody, uh, for for joining us. By the way, uh, we are uh, uh, supported by all of our beautiful listeners over at patreoncom slash great night. It's where you can get uh, a, a big mega RSS feed of everything and uh, get the Bones podcast, our bonus podcast, every week on Thursdays. We're going to give you one this week as well. So uh, make sure you tune in, tune up, and tune out. Uh, except to us, tune out to us. That's how that works. I guess, caller, did you have a comment? Oh, no, you're, you're getting a drink. Okay. Uh, all righty. Well, let's do some final checks. I shouldn't be allowed to see the cameras sometimes. All right, let's do some final checks here. Brian, how you doing? Justin. Hey, hey. Brett. Hello, friend. Oh, Annalisa. Hello. And Jeff. And the chat and our, stu our studio, oh, there's our studio audience and our studio audience. Woo! Yes, Perfect timing. Thank you everybody for joining us here. We're just about to start the program one more time. Patreon.com slash great night. And of course, discord.greatnight.tv is where you can go to join the chat and the community after the show and, uh, uh, and get the birthday burner stuff there too. All right, Brett, mm. are you there we go. I didn't count. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then I'll count you in. In. 